Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, I like your gun, bro. Thanks. I like your movies. Well, one and two were good. The rest were shit. What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber ladies and gentlemen, and here we are back with another action figure review. So today we're going to be taking a look at Green Lantern, John Stewart Green Lantern. And I must say, I've passed on this figure many, many times, um, but I decided it would be a good day, a good time to pick this guy up because he looks magnificent, bro. The gun looks great, the face sculpt looks great, the body looks great, everything about it looks great. DC Rebirth right there here are some of the other figs that you can pick up and i actually i have all these damn figs i reviewed all of them man the drowns batman flashpoint batman robin bat psycho batman so on and so forth all right let's quit wasting time let's get this guy out the package let's free green lantern john stewart welcome to the daily show so, Green Lantern comes with, of course, the card right there, and then the circular base, which he stands upon. Let's go ahead and clip Jon Stewart out of the box. Yes. Nice. Very, very nice, bro. Very nice. And this is removable. This piece right here is removable, but we'll look at him for a moment take a look at green lantern man the head sculpt on this is really really nice man love the face the head mcfarland did an amazing job with this guy man the eyes love the green eyes the tone of the skin is done very very nicely he even got the slick back hair cut as well man very very nice very nice head sculpt man Compared to <laughs> compared to this guy, yeah, too bad they couldn't make Superman like this, bro, but yeah, you can see the difference right there, man. Even though, you know, this is based on the real-life person, Henry Cavill, you know, this guy, I'm not really for sure. He could be based on somebody, he could be based on a model for this figure, right? But very, very nice, man, very nice. And he does look like a model too. <laughs> he's got the he's got the face of a model. He's got the jawline. He's got the eyes. He's got the brow. He's got everything, bro. So this comes off right here. If you're wondering, um, actually, should I take it off? Let me see. I should pop off very easily. Yeah, there we go. That pops off very nicely. And yeah, man. I actually I kind of like it. Actually, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, yes and no. I mean, either way, he looks good, bro. The body is done very, very nicely, man. Very sleek look. Very athletic looking. There's the Green Lantern symbol. Very, very nice, man. Just a great, great figure, man. Did not think I would like this figure as much as I do, but man, very, very nice. You guys see the articulation, great articulation for John Stewart right here. Bicep swivel, 90 degree bend, very, very nice, man. Swivel right there, waist swivel, torso swivel. Look at that. Everything except a knee cut or a boot swivel, which for some reason, I've said this a million times, if you guys watch my channel, for some reason McFarlane doesn't do a boot swivel or, uh, or a thigh cut. He does it with Mortal Kombat figs, but not the DC figs. With all that being said, he looks great, guys. Really great. There's the back of him. Let me give you guys a close-up. Just really, really nice looking. John Stewart, man. Very nice, bro. Stay right there, John Stewart. I'm going to take out his weapon so 
also he comes with the backpack as you guys saw the peg hole in the back there's the backpack and here is this giant freaking minigun bro very very nice man very nice it's it's a light plastic translucent gun very nice guys you know what before we put all this together I'm going to actually we'll slip this on because it's probably gonna take me a minute uh, to uh, pop the uh, gun onto him or try to find the way try to find the gun try to find a way to get the gun onto him hold the gun properly man I cannot speak today uh, so I'm guessing that pegs in like that or pegs in like that Maybe like that. It's just overall very nice. I wish it was, I wish this would stay a little bit more. I wish it would wrap around his Green Lantern symbol just a little bit more. So let me see. What's let me see. I'm guessing maybe this way, right? Yeah. So let's try to get him to hold the gun. Hopefully this doesn't break on me. I might have to warm up his hands, but we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it for this review. There's the gun right there. There's him holding the gun. I might, yeah, I might have to warm up his hands, man, because it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to get this into his hand. Okay, so yeah, I suggest warming up the hands, but this is how he holds the gun. I'm pretty sure this is how he holds the gun. I'm, I'm, um, let me see. Let me go to the back. Actually, there's no. Actually, <laughs> yeah, he looks he looks okay holding the gun. It's a great big gun. He kind of holds it kind of awkwardly. So let me remove this real quick. So yeah, it's a good it's a good sized gun. I don't know. I wish he came with another accessory, man. It's a good gun, bro. But I don't know. He just kind of holds it like he can't really hold it that great unless it's like this, maybe like this, and he's firing it like this. Yeah, nice gun, but as with a lot of these like mini guns and how he's designed, he just kind of holds it awkwardly. But just overall, there's the backpack right there. It's a little flipped upside down, but there's the backpack right there. Very nice Green Lantern. So if you guys are familiar or not familiar with Green Lantern, here's a little read up. We'll just do a quick little read up. We'll do some comparisons and we'll do some measurements in a moment. But here's a little read up. John Stewart is a former U.S. Marine who uses his military training and discipline to protect Earth and the rest of Space Sector 28, 2814 as a member of the intergalactic peacekeeping force known as the Green Lantern Corps. As Green Lantern, John wields a power ring which creates a protective shield around him, allows him to fly and generate and generates hard light energy constructs in the form of anything he imagines fueled by willpower green lantern's power ring is one of the mightiest weapons in the universe so we didn't get a chance to take a look at his ring so there's his ring right there the green ring i don't know what's up with my lighting man let me bring this in just a little bit Overall, great, great looking figure, man. Did not think I would like him as much as I do, but just great, great. I actually, I do like, I do like this green piece over this right here, over his shoulders, because it just gives him another added boost. Like he's wearing like, you know, football armor. But I wish it would stay in place. You know what I mean? It just, it just doesn't. It pops out. You know what I mean? I like the backpack. I love the gun. The head sculpt is what sells it, man. Great, great looking head sculpt. There's the body once again. Very, very nice, man. Great looking figure. Let's let's do some measurements first, and then we'll do uh, some comparisons. So, John Stewart stands about just a little under seven inches tall. So here he is with uh, black suited uh, Superman. Superman, of course, stands seven and a half inches tall if you're wondering. John Stewart is a small guy. I'm surprised I didn't make him bigger. Uh, Batman. That's how he is with Batman. Another green guy. My custom reptile right there. Um, let's see. My custom Cabal. Cabal is a tall guy. As you guys can see, he measures up with Superman back there. My custom Smoke. 
John Stewart is a small guy, man. He's like, <laughs> everyone's taller than John Stewart. Let's see, Noob, one of the last figures I reviewed. Now, he's about the size of Noob. That's how that's how he stands right there. Noob is Noob and John Stewart is about the same height. Um, Batman. Uh, excuse me, Superman. Let's see him with Superman, bro. Doesn't that look great? Look at him standing next to Superman. They stand about the same height. Superman has got him beat by the spiked up hair or the slick back hair, should I say? Great, great figure, guys. Great figure, man. Great, great figure, bro. I did not think I would like him as much. I'm glad I picked this guy up. You know what? He's one of my instant fa favorites. I really like this guy, man. I love the gun. I love the accessories. It's pretty cool that uh, McFarlane has given us a figure with some accessories. This gun is really, really dope. I just got to find a way for him to hold it. Oh, maybe it's this way, right? He holds it from, from underneath like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Holds it like this. I forget how you hold the minigun. But yeah, he holds it like that. And then he grabs it like that. There we go. That makes most more sense. Yeah, there we go, bro. Look at that. Great. Great looking piece, man. Great looking piece. All right, let me give you my rating. I think you guys are going to be surprised by my rating. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention he does have, double, of course, double jointed knees. Uh, ankle swivel. Um, and then the toe breakage. Okay, guys. Yeah, like I said, I think you guys are going to be surprised by my rating. Other than I only have just two gripes. One is this doesn't stay on there all that great. I wish it would stay on there a little bit more. I'm sure if I bend it maybe a little bit more, maybe, hold on, maybe if I bend it just a little bit more to where it'll, it'll stick to his chest. Yeah, it's just the way it's made. I wish... This can go on there just a little bit better, you know what I mean? Um, and then my my next gripe is just the height. I wish he was just a little bit taller, man. Because he is... He's six foot one, so... Yeah. I, I, I do wish he was a little bit taller, because he is a pretty small guy, man. Other than that, he's great. Let me give you my rating. I'm going to give this guy a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah, that's how much I like him, man. I really like this Green Lantern. I love what um, McFarlane did. You guys heard my two gripes. This right here just doesn't hold on that great. And also the height as well. I wish he was just a little bit bigger. I wish he would have made Jon Stewart taller, as tall as his Superman right here. But nonetheless, great, great Green Lantern. That's how he measures up with Superman. I guess it makes sense because, yeah... Okay, I think it makes sense when you put him next to this Superman. But just great, great piece, man. Definitely, definitely one of my top figs of 2021, bro. Great figure, man. Great figure. All right, I do recommend it, guys. If you are DC fans, I highly recommend this piece. Let me take the gun out of his hands for a moment. Let me remove, let me remove all this stuff. Because I kind of, I do like all the stuff, but I think it's a little bit too much. I kind of like them simple and plain as is like that, bro. Great, great figure, man. Very nice. Love the sleek design. Love the bend. Look at the, uh, look at the, he can bend that far back. Look up that far back. Down, downward. Great, great figure, man. Love it. I love the costume. I love everything about this guy, man. Dope figure. Highly recommended, guys. All right. The face sculpt is what sells it, man. If they did the face sculpt as good as they could have with this Superman, this Superman would be much higher. But they just killed it with this face sculpt, man. Let's look how realistic he looks. Great looking face sculpt. Great looking body. Highly recommend it. All right, guys. I drooled enough over this figure. Awesome figure, 9 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I think you have to get this figure in hand to actually understand what the hell I'm talking about and what I'm seeing. A lot of you guys are probably like, yeah, I don't get it. I think you have to get this figure in hand, man. He's really, really, really great. All right, guys, there was my little review of Green Lantern. Let me know what you make of this figure. Do you have them? Do you plan on getting them? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out. Your 
friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by OnlyPans on YouTube. Check it out.